Hey, love bugs. This is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning selves, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift, good vibe, uh, that you really, you know, really appreciate it, give a thumbs up and share. And um, if you know, if you can really uh, resonate th with the different things that's taking place into your life that really gives you that vibe, you know, please let me know about it. You know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, and sending so much love, like positivity and upliftment towards your way. And anything that's coming towards my way that's not good for my soul. <laughs> you know, doing anything to try to deplete, distract, or destroy. It's going right back to you, 100 to 10 times fold. Everything is protected this way. Um, the video that I'm doing right now is called Twin Flame 101, Healing Through the Grief of Acceptance. It's like, oh my God, you know, you're going through all these different things. And I'm like, where it really got real. It <laughs> really, really, really got real. You know, you're dealing with a lot of things that are uncomfortable. You, you know, it's, it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication to heal yourself. You know, from different things that were sent to destroy you. You're working hard to be able to accept things for who they are. You're going through different things where it's telling you to love yourself in all forms. Even the effed up part of yourself. Love that. Because you're allowing yourself to say, you know what, this is a part of myself that I really need to grow from. Or these, you know, these are different situations where I had to be able to allow myself to really appreciate what is being taught to me. Even the different things that help me be all over the daggone place but these are the things why i'm being honest with myself like okay that uh, hurt me this is this is what i'm not going to accept and then it's showing you look how you're taking your power back because you're seeing you're seeing the exact thing that you needed to be able to learn from don't be hard on yourself when different things is taking place into your life because that's you know that's transforming you you know when you're being honest with yourself and seeing okay this is what i need to work on or okay this is why i need to cope from this okay this is why i had to change uh, my perception on different things in my life being grateful for any and everything that left my life or is strongly standing there these are the different things that I went through where I had to understand everything is temporary am I living my life through purpose or am, am I allowing myself to experience life or am I allowing myself to be existing in the, or am I in survival mode you know all these different things that's going on in life where it's helping you make better choices about different things it's helping you see things from a higher light you know, and a lot of times it's hard to be able to do those different situations when you have so much harshness that's going on into your life. Um, your light will trigger demons. You know, when you're going through a, a grief period of your life, being honest with yourself in all forms, that is not for the weak at heart. You know, different times, you know, maybe people that are around you that laugh and mock at your suffering. And those are the different things. But it's just like, you know, in human experience, a lot of times that can really hurt deep. But this is that way where you're saying, regardless of what other people are doing to distract you, that's all it is, a distraction. You know, taking you off your path of where I need to heal, I need to accept this, you know, I need to strengthen myself, I need to be bold in my confidence, being unapologetic for anything that projects positivity, strength, and power. Uh, being able to allow myself to know it's not being uh, passive aggressive, passive, passive aggressive. Uh, of having confidence in my life you know some people felt like that's being arrogant it's like no you have to be able to love yourself even I even heard somebody say you loving yourself is narcissistic how the hell is that narcissistic no you know it's silly. it's different between that because if it's not narcissistic that you're doing that you are willing to hurt anybody to empower you but when you allow yourself to be loving of yourself, that's a part of self-care. So anybody that makes it seem like you're being selfish because you're unplugging against things or you're allowing yourself to stay focused on the good or you're being very selective about what energies that you consume yourself with, you know, being able to allow myself to certain roads and bridges is being burnt for a reason. Certain doors are being closed that leaves them alone, you know, and you're going through these different things that are very, very hard very hard but then you had to be able to allow yourself to not say oh this is hard I can't do it but it's just like this is hard but it's taking me to open my eyes to something I didn't know 
that I need to see or I'm paying attention to what's really being projected towards me or being able to see the goodness out of a hard situation. And you're going through those things because it's like this is what, you know, has been going on for the last few years. Ever since that pandemic started, it, it was showing you, hey, you can't keep distracting yourself from th different things that really don't got a hold on you. You had to take your power back from anything that has taken place into your life that really, really broke you. And these are the different things that's coming in. So that's the reason why you, you got all these different painful memories that are coming up. You know, different times where you may be in that vibration and saying, I'm not good enough. You know, my purpose doesn't matter. Nobody cares about me. Nobody loves me. You know, I don't matter. You know, it, why all these different things that's like self-sabotage within that. And it's trying to tell you, change your verbiage. Change the way you look at it. Even though uh, situations where people are around you make you feel like you're not loved or cared for or mattered. Um, is showing you to do that within yourself. You know, a lot of times you're not going to feel love from different people are surrounding you. That just helps you give extra love towards yourself that you try to give other people. You're loving yourself like you love other people. And it's just like you can still send love, but you're loving from a distance. And it's like everything is therapeutic within that change. Because it's like you can forgive somebody and don't have to let them back in your life. You know, forgiving somebody doesn't mean you're condoning the harshness that they put into your life, but just being that misunderstanding of why they did that, but just allow myself to say you can't take that personal. You know, these are the different things that's going on in your life where you're learning from those situations, being able to see the bigger picture of it. Because this is just like going through all my changes is, is not easy. There's days that I feel uh, depleted at times. You know, there'll be days that I felt like I was questioning myself and stuff like that. But then it was just like, these are the different things that's molding you. These are the different things that's going to connect with you in ways you never know how. These are the different things that's going to take you to that next level. These are the different things that I had to really face in my life to know I deserve better. And, you know, as long as you're doing your, your affirmations, your mantras, you know, you're calling on, you know, uh, all your archangels saying, you know, Archangel Michael, can you help me cut this cord with this person? You know, I keep dwelling on these different things in my life that's really hurting towards me. And, you know, I just want to be able to take my power back. And I'm like, shoot, Archangel Michael, I was waiting on you to be able to do that. You know, I, I'll protect you from the detrimental, but I needed you to use part of your free will to be able to do that. And then you're, you're doing that because you're allowing yourself to not keep opening that door of that own womb because you're only, you know, you're placing your power into it. Whereas telling you, <clears throat> you stayed in that vibration but over time. Now everything has an expiration date to it. You know, you're trying to be moved in different ways. It's going to be really uh, beneficial towards you. And for you to be able to do that, you have to understand why you had to go through that. And have to be able to understand this is God's understanding. And it's based on divine time, even though you be ready to go off on God many times. Or you probably already have. You know, and going through these things, like you don't see what I'm going through. How are you going to accept me to do this and this and that? And all this is going, it's hurt me, this, this and that. And it's just like you're, you're allowing yourself to let go. And letting go is not easy. The wars that we, it's the hardest to battle is the wars within ourselves. Because a lot of times we feel like um, these are the different things that's going on in my life. And it's this person's fault and this person's fault. And a lot of times we don't realize, you know, you're in that victim vibration. Um... And these are the different things that's going on that nobody can't stop what's, what's for you. You know, when you allow yourself to move in good intentions, good is going to happen for you. If you know you're moving in selfish and negative intentions, that's going to be for you as well. But you're allowing yourself to change, and that is not an easy situation to go through because you're going to have to see things for what they truly are. It's going to be hard to digest. You're going to have to allow certain people go, even when you don't want to, when they showed you they already let go of you. You know, don't put somebody first where everybody puts you on a back burner or they put you last. You know, you're allowing yourself to place that love into yourself that I'm not going to put my energy in these things no more because I, I see how it broke me down. I, I, I know what that felt like to be cut off from the world because I was so consumed with sadness. You know, and it'll be different things where you have to know you, you matter. Your purpose matters. You know, you are doing something important in the world, even if it... You know, it blesses one person. Do you know how that can spread like a virus around here? You know, it's easy to, you know, lie on people. Different drama, whatever like that. That will go all like that. But just thinking about the love and positivity that you're bringing in some, somebody's life. You know, those are the different things that's empowering you just to be able to empower somebody else because you're allowing yourself to be able to say, you know, this is what happened into my life. This is where I had to really change how I seen things. These are the different things that really challenged me. You know, these are the different things that made me have a nervous breakdown. These are the different things that made me angry and cry. But these are also the things that empowered me.
These are also the different things that really place me in a higher vibration, appreciate everything that I've gone through, you know, being selective about what I choose to, you know, maintain and as well as entertain, cut away from different things that, you know, it just made me doubt myself, you know, make me question everything about myself, you know, that doesn't give me that encouragement to be able to grow, doesn't give me that, that system that is not supportive towards my life. No, it was sent there as a distraction. And these are the different things where you have, you can be very beneficial to go through the toxicity we go through you know it'd be that you know and a lot of times we can go through things and it makes us feel like oh this is never going to end or oh it's not changing when it's actually sending to your life to change you and it's allowing you to have that courage because right now your 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 faith is really being tested right now your patience as well as your belief is really being challenged right now because it'll have you feel one day that all this positivity in life, you know, and just being just good and just heavy in your gratitude. Like, man, you know, I went through these dead going things and it really hurt deep. It hit deep. But now my vibration's hitting deep, you know, deep, different. These are the different things that's taking place in my life that make me so ultimately grateful for because it allowed me to be selective in everything that I do say or feel. You know, all those different things because you're going through different things that's going to make you self-love. You're not going to deal with anything that depletes that or ask you to give that up because if anybody that wants to see you grow, they already know you ain't. Don't ask me to do something that I know I ain't going to do. That don't have, you know, do that. Or it'll be different things where it's showing you your self worth. When you when you see people are being authentic with you, you want those type of people around you, not people where you feel like, oh, nobody's going to love me or accepting. Uh, me who for who I truly am so I have to water myself down or I can't speak the truth or I can't you know stand up for myself then it's just showing you anything that holds that that con that an actual pro cut that off you know you're really cutting that off and it's just a lot of things has been blocked from your energy a lot of people have been blocked from your energy you'll be a different person like and you'll know it's happening because you can shoot a text or you can call somebody or go by somebody's house and nobody answers that that rejection was for your protection you know, God is taking people out your life. He's clearly telling you, don't you run back from people that I took out your life. Don't you open that door after I closed it. This is for your benefit. You don't know what's been said. You don't know what people's actions were behind you. You don't know what they have been saying about you. And you don't know what their intentions or motives are. And, you know, when you really see it, because now is at that point where you're really seeing the reason why God took them out of your life. The reason why he told you to cut that cord, you're really seeing it. And a lot of stuff, that truth that you're seeing, it can really, it is humbling you, but it also hurts you at the same time. But I had to be able to respect that, you know. And I said, uh, what was that post that I seen? You know, you respect people strongly when they honestly disagreeing with you. I respect more people than that. Or be that person that had hidden intentions, that don't want to see good for me and play like they're in my life. That, now that, that That's a disgrace. You know, and it'll make you think about those different things. So it's like so many past situations that's coming up and it's telling you to let that go. You know, and a lot of times it's hard for you to be able to do that on, you know, different levels. But it's just like that was your direct benefit to get towards that next level. That's that to that uh, big benefit to end that chapter of your life and being able to start a whole new one. And it's just like our life is going around. We might have a book of pain, manipulation, hurt, abuse, whatever it was that really shook us to the core. And it's just like you went through these different things, but then it's learning from those situations and you're processing and being able to understand and accept that for what it is. You know, you're seeing the true intentions of a lot of people. You're seeing the true intentions about yourself. You know, you're, you're having more confidence within yourself that um, I made the best decisions possible. But when you have that question, God is always saying, bring it to me. Bring it to me before you do anything. You know, and those are the different things that you'll take to them and you're being honest with yourself. You know, this hurts me or, you know, this has me distracted. And these are the things when you can be honest with yourself on saying this is how that situation made me feel. These are the different things of telling me how, why did I see it like that? And then it's telling you, you know, be able to switch that. You know, these are the different things that are strengthening you. These are the different things that's leading you towards that person within yourself that strongly needed your allowance. I mean, not allowance, God dog, acknowledgement. <laughs> it was like a lot of allowance, but uh, 
you're going through those different things in your life, it's just like, Dad, you know, this was very beneficial to me. You know, it really helped me heal. It really helped me grow. And these are things that I truly needed in life. These are different things that's really taking place in my life that helped me learn myself. You know, you're going through a lot of different things where people are not going to understand you. They, You know, they want the breakdown on what happened. And it's just a lot of times if you're not opening that vibration, you can even write it down and, and dumb it .com different, you know, different ways in that way. And they still wouldn't understand it, you know. But you're going through your different things where all is taking place in your life that really hurts is showing you how strong you are. Because when you can allow yourself to accept these things that went on, being able to forgive what has hurt you, even when it's not apology or, you know, any explanation, a lot of times that harshness somebody puts into your life is that ultimate closure. Because, you know, anything and anyone that is sent to your life to love you, nurture you and all that is going to nurture you. It's going to call you out when you know you are wrong or it's going to call you out when you, you knew better or you could do better. You know, giving you that, that information you need that you, you know, that where people want to invest in you. You know, people want to encourage you. Those are different things where you're seeing in your life. Is this, you know, what is it, that, that con or is it that pro? You know, all you're going through these constant tests and stuff like that to help you rise above, help strengthen you. And, man, that mess ain't easy. You can be ready to walk away every single time, but it's like your soul, like, no, we'll give you a break. <laughs> we'll give you a break, but you jumping right back on. And this is that guarantee you. This is the thing that's going to make you beastly. These are going to be those different things that nothing can be able to destroy you. Because a lot of times when we have to go through life and really get hit, and I mean really get hit with our experiences can really shake you to the core. It was going to be, when you allow yourself to heal from that, and I mean really heal from that, because I mean you're dealing with a lot of different things. People would have took their own self out. People would have took some people out that had something to do with this situation. Or you could have been taking yourself out but yet you are still here and then when you overcome something like that somebody gonna bring some ratchet raggedy daggone vibrations towards you to distract you in every shape form or fashion and then it'll be like you got to come better than that you really don't know what i went through you really don't know the things that i faced you don't know what was rejected towards me what was snatched from me what i was deprived from so all that panty and um uh egotistical vibrations you're trying to send, you know send my way ain't gonna bust the grape and that's when the universe is going to take you through the harshness of life because you're going to have some people that are really going to be disturbed by your peace. When they sit up here and know that you got God written all over your situation, you don't look like what you've been through. And it'll be that situation that's, that's like, you know, I, I like that person. I need to be in that type of energy. I love the way they did that. You're going through certain things that were sent to break you. You know, because a lot of times we go through the things and we question God, like, why you allowed this to happen? Why you let that person hurt me? Why did you do this? And a lot of times he has to be cruel to be kind. You know, and I'm just like, I hate it when you do stuff like that. But it's just like, these are the different things that you're going through that's taking you to that next level. Because you deserved everything that you're working hard for, especially a lot of times it's hard for you not to get discouraged when it seems like you put so much work in and got little in return. And it's like universe will always, you know, uh, tell you, you, you may think that we don't know what's going on with your life. God knows everything. He knows every tear you done shed it. You know, every person that has harmed you, hurt you in any kind of way. But it always showed you, you know, if these are the different things that came in contact with you, there's something that you need to learn about that situation, about that person, as well as strongly with yourself. And when you're allowing yourself to do that, you know, it, it'll be a lot of things where we had to allow ourselves to not, not be judgmental on people. And I work on that every day. I do because it'll be a lot of times I'm going to get the best of me and I'll start popping off. And it was just like, you can't force somebody to heal that don't want to. You know, even if you take every positive approach to really help that person, some people are just comfortable in being miserable. People are just comfortable with being toxic. And you. And I'm the type of person where I try to put myself in their shoes to understand why they act like that. Why do they do that? You know, if this person would do this and this and that, and I really see the potential out of them, you know how big and bold you would be? But you're putting your interest and your focus and your energy on hurtful situations or things that's not supposed to be your main focus. You know, we, we all are on the same you know, on that same uh, vibration of where you, it's time for you to focus on you. Regardless on who's focusing on you to destroy you, you focusing on yourself for an ultimate ascension. You really, you know, uh, focused on yourself from healing and breaking away from things that's no longer serving you. Knowing even the harshest situations that came in my life, it was beneficial towards my growth. 
and everything and everyone is helping you get to that next level even your enemies you know it could be different times where i said no your enemy's doing this but no it's just like they really 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 admire you and it's just like i remember i heard that i busted out laughing i said people admire me why are they going out their way to hurt me when i didn't do nothing except just allow myself to not be taking advantage of or allowing myself to force myself to heal and it, it aggravates people because you know they they have fun you know what are they gonna you know it was just like me it was just like everybody and their mama trying to make sure i don't go nowhere and keep me stuck in a situation like that because they know you deserve better and you know that but they want to contradict you on different things and you know people will tend to do those different things when they know they're not going to have an entitlement to your life but then you can still allow yourself to know you were a part of my growth process and i can really appreciate you to the core you really taught me so much about myself. It made me love myself. It made me have self-worth. It, it allowed myself to be very determined and be resilient, being able to understand and accept those different challenges that's coming to my life because they're really there to benefit me. And I wouldn't be exactly where I needed to be if I didn't have that hurt in my life. I wouldn't be exactly where I wanted to be, you know, even though I'm not exactly where I want to be yet. But they helped me prepare for that. You know, through the wrongness in our lives. You know, a lot of times people, you it's just like it'll be that post where it said, this year is when you're seeing who your roof, your real family is, as well as your friends. You know, you had to be able to allow yourself to do that. Sometimes the strangers will sit up here and support you stronger than the people that know you. You know, because they see that 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 vibration in your life and they admire that. You know, they encourage that, or they even want to. You know, they want to invest in you. But there will be a lot of people that sees that and they they envy that and want that type of vibration. It's like no matter what I do, to that person, no matter you know what what's taking place and whatever, I try to step in and in, into. Um, that person always rises back up from that 10 times stronger. How do they do that? And it's a lot of times we really don't know, but these are the process of uh, really transforming. You know, you're going through different things to where you're really having to sit with yourself and say, okay, I need to change myself on this, or okay, then I'm allowing myself to really, you know, take towards a different approach towards different things and being able to say, I'm glad I went through this. It's really taught me so much about myself and really appreciate myself for those different things. So I'm healing through grief of being able to set things are just gonna stay the same on certain aspects of your life, but it's creating better. I had to be able to accept that part of me is no longer existing, so it's birthing out the new part of me. Accepting the things that came into my life that was painful brought purpose, you know? And it's just like when you're healing from those different things, you're healing from certain things that you never thought you would be able to heal from. And it'll give that person encouragement when you're allowing yourself to know this experience um, that really taught you a value of life within all of it is. Um, being able to project that towards somebody else, you know, just being able to understand that this person going through this got a dog, you know, and still have a right to put a smile on their face. You don't know what happens behind closed doors. People only see what you allow them to see. You know, and um, being able to understand, you know, the, the worst battle you can battle, uh, be at war with is within yourself. Because it's not easy, you know, put, you know, uh, maintaining that new life of yourself and being able to change, you know, habits. Because that's what we're doing, burning off toxic habits, you know, uh, self-sabotaging, fear, doubt. You know, stay balanced, stay faithful and everything that, you know, things are happening for a reason. You know, being able to stay balanced even through those hard times. Things are really challenging, you know, and for you to go through that. You're going through a grief process of change that's not an easy job to do, you know. But these are the different things that's being very beneficial towards our way that was truly needed into our lives. And you're going to be very uh, appreciative of those different things because it's just like we can go through like Ascension, Kundalini. And it's just like what I'm seeing and hearing now is like people are going through an intense dark night of the soul where that mess is unbearable and make you feel like you're drowning and, you know, just consumed by all your sorrow, your hate, you know, make you get into a vibration of being a vic uh, victim or it'll make you self-sabotage, make you talk low down to yourself, you know, make you doubt yourself as having a strong purpose. May you do that because all these different things that took place in our life really showed you the strength you have within ourselves. Because there's a lot of things that you're facing that people would have hauled butt from. A lot of people. And then there'll be different times when you tell people, this is what I went through, this is what I faced, this is what I had to acknowledge, this is what I had to see, and I had to learn to unlearn, you know, and I'll use that person 
that exact person and give them the worst scenario of this is what I faced in my life. And it can really shake you to the core of how can you be positive about those different things that made me think about the girl I was talking about in the first video, Gina Chu. Like, uh, you know, I'll commend her, you know, um, because she, she was one of those IG models. I don't know if she was a musician or something like that, but uh, she had contracted AIDS. And she didn't even know she had it. And it was just like all of a sudden her weight just started dropping like crazy. You know, she was 65 pounds when she first started telling everybody about her situation. It was just like some people, you know, spoke harshly of her. But there's a lot of people that commended her for being able to say that. Because you know how many people walking around here knowing they got that stuff and intentionally giving it to people. And they're angry with the world. Like, okay, my life is messed up. So I'm going to mess your life up. Because I remember it was like, um, I seen this dude on, uh, what was it? World Star Hip Hop. I'm like, dang, that was so old. Us. I don't even know if they got World Star anymore. Every time somebody get into a fight, World Star. But it was like this guy was like, yeah, I went on a date with you last night, and he was like, you see this kind of, you see this kind of, welcome to the world, world, you know, of AIDS. And I was just like, you did not put a person in that. And you know, and it's just like people are being angry with the world from the poor choices he made and wanted everybody to pay for that. And I was like, that was very selfish and that was messed up. Because nowadays you do something else like that if you want to, you know. it will be different times where stuff like that happened in certain states. That That's assault. That's attempted murder when you do stuff like that and they put you in jail for it. Because there was this guy who did, did this, uh, two ladies that were like in their late 60s, uh, where they were clean bill of health. He know he had it, and he started giving it to other people, and it just so happened that the woman spoke out about it, and a, another woman that was dealing with him, you know, they they band together and talk. It's like I never had anything, you know, I, I you know I, I was you know I've been divorced when my husband has died up ten years, and I never found nobody, and really thought this was a guy of my dreams, and not figuring this this man put a death trap on you, you know, and those are the different things where you can see the harshness in the world for people, and you just get so angry because there'll be a lot of times I watch some of these. Uh, crime channels and you know a lot of times like girls stop watching that stuff because it can be so triggering but I said you know any any empath that's built on positivity you're going to hate to see injustice happen to people you're going to hate to see those, these different things can happen to people you don't even want to imagine you know that was going on because I've been hearing, hearing so many different things it just really broke my soul really really broke my soul I know it was this uh with I don't know if this happened recently I don't know where it was this in Baltimore, Walmart. I can't remember where it was, but this girl, she was so beautiful, had two little girls, I think one and three. And she was a realtor, and somebody uh, set her up, and they took her. You know, and it was just like, you know, mom, her mom is keeping her kids and stuff like that, and just hearing her mom talk, you know, talk, mom just crying with her because it's like nobody, no parent should ever have to bury their kid. That is just like, that's the worst nightmare I think a parent can go through is getting a phone call saying I need you to identify your child's body or somebody telling you hey they found your daughter and they're not breathing anymore or you know your child got beat to a pulp or something like that it will be certain things that can really shake you to the core it makes you really question that life itself how people can truly be and just hearing how that woman bawled out where her her grandkids are like you know they she plays games with them and stuff like that and she's like Grammy can you can you be mommy and you know, and it was just like, you know, she's like, please, can you do that? Because she just wanted to see her mom. And it was just so heartbreaking to hear these little girls go through that, not really understanding what took place. And, and you can see how there's a lot of things that will be placed in your life just that moment with that, that woman that it's really going to test your faith. It's really going to make you look at God different. You know, I don't know the life lessons about what happened to that woman, but it was just like I sent so much love towards her because you can hear her being so broken. You be so broken because it's just like when you hear different things like that, you know, it makes me, you know, all my, my children are grown, you know, but it, th that was my main thing that, you know, I had to pray hard for, like, you know, just keep a watch of my protection of my children and all this stuff. No matter what's going on, it'll block anything that was sent to harm them or, you know, take them out, you know, because those are the different things you go through. And you try to understand the different things that you're going through in life that, you know, it's just like, God, why do you allow these things to happen? You know, why did you allow these di different things to take place? Even when that little girl, you know, her grandmother told her, you know, God's going to save us. And she's like, why? He didn't save mommy. You know, and it was just like when she said that, that was it for me. I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. You know, how can you be able to process that from, you know, children missing their mom like that? 
and um, just being able to see how this world is, you know, if you're a true empath or you're trying your best to heal, you're going to see a lot of different things that's going to go on in this world and make you want to go ape shit. You know, because one day I was talking to the universe, I said, what we need is a cleaner, an equalizer, and a punisher in every single state, including overseas. Boy, you know how ruthless this life would be in peace. You know, you taking out every person that simply destroys somebody and somebody like want to take the life, want to take people innocent, force their cell phone folks, you know, taking other people out. And it was just like, we need one of those in every state. You talking about, like, it was like, all my hairs came up. I'm like, ah, oh, why can't you do that? And, you know, it'd be such a peaceful place here. You start taking those folks out, of, you know, out of their misery, you know, bring them up and set an appointment with you, give them a hashtag, you know, ask them for your Wi-Fi. You can do all that. Can you just take them out of the world, please? Because this life could be so much better. Or even there was time, it's like, why do we have to change this? Why can it be simple that you can create a planet where we all can live? And anybody who is built on misery, harm, deceptions, sadism, self-harm, whatever, anything's negative to really mess up somebody's life. Can they just stay here and we go here? Even though we be boring as hell, we don't need any cops because everybody's loving and freeing themselves. The way ain't robbing nobody, you know, bombing nobody. Can we be over here and let them just be at war with them? Can we just do that? Like, no. <laughs> Why can't you do that? But yeah, you're going through all these different changes in your life, man, oh my God, that it is really hurtful. You can be to that point where it's very uncomfortable uh, of what changes you're going through. That is just like you don't understand it, but you know these are the different things that is placed for you to really go through that vibration of healing. That it starts bringing, you start seeing the backstories on certain things that you had to be able to cross your path and be very helpful towards yourself because it's empowering you in every way. And the grief process of healing is just basically you had to be able to heal from the dying part of you. You know, your old self is no longer needed into your life, but being able to appreciate it. You know, I always tell you, you know, I'll never be ashamed of, you know, uh, where you came from, how your life is at, you know, the different decisions you made that may be embarrassing, shameful, or hurtful. But you don't regret those things because it brought you to be, become a better person when you know that, uh, these different things is really placed into your life and it can really change you and they always say it can change you for the good or it can change you for the worse and you have to be able to be very selective of that but when you're using that as fuel and ammunition saying I want my life to be different I want my life to be pro prosperous I want my life to be peaceful and then when you're you're putting out these wishes towards your life and this is what you're manifesting you had to go be able to go through those things it's like I didn't ask for all that yes you did and you just didn't know the steps on getting to you know if you want to get this and this and this and that like say you know God promised you that you you know you're gonna have your own big record company or you want to be you know ultimate celebrity or whatever like that and it was just like you know you can do these things but it's just when you go through it you had to be able to not give up on whatever is taking place into your life um you had to be able to see things for what they truly are you know being able to make different decisions for these different things to come in play you know like well you didn't have to you didn't say it all like that it was like but you had to do these things these are very necessary towards your growth and when you're going through those different things, you're going to have a lot. Of, sometimes you have a lot more questions than you do answers. But it's at that right time that you'll get the clarity that you need. But you have to be consistent. You know, being able to allow yourself to, con you know, call yourself out on your own bull stuff. You know, um, being aggravated with yourself, with your own ignorance. It's like, you know, why you do that? It's like, it's like why did you do that? And it's just like, gosh. But then it's showing you when, you know, they'll tell you don't be hard on yourself because this is a fact is when you recognize, okay, I stuck low or recognize, <clears throat> I'm, you know, I'm, I'm absorbing instead of observing. I reacted instead of responding um, or I'm allowing myself to move through wounds. You know, when you're allowing yourself to know this is what I did, you realize you're taking your power back from that because you see the wrongness in your life that you really truly need to correct it. And that's letting you know you're growing. And those are the things they always tell you to keep, you know, into that process because these different situations into your life um, is really taking you to be higher. This is the different things that's taking you to be stronger. And you had to do that through those tough, tough experiences of life that could have been very catastrophic. You know, and those are the different things that made you a beast in every way, shape, form, or fashion. It just really helped you in different ways of, uh, you know, turning you know, something very harsh and something very negative and to bring it prosperous because it's allowing you to know no matter when you can overcome something that really, 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 you know, threw you off, there'll be nothing can come your way to disturb that because you already went through the worst. 
you know it'll be different people are going to admire your strength going to admire you know your experiences and it's just like it's, it's an inspiration to be inspired about because you're going through a world length of changes that really is taking place that was truly needed you know those really really truly needed and being able to just like oh you know uh, I didn't you know when I face this it just don't really took me through all these different things in my life but it's just like now you're starting to you know you have to have gratitude towards that you have to pray for your enemies you have to appreciate your situations you have to let things go with gratitude because it created that for you because it's like now you know different things come up where you different things that, that comes up and remind you of something from other people's actions that it, it took place and it really hurt you you end in something before it can begin you know, you're allowing yourself like, oh, I'm not on that vibration anymore, you know, so I'm not going to allow myself, I was like, cut ties, going about my business, you know, have a good one, God bless you, whatever, you know, and those different things, you know, I've had different people drop out of my life because I was really toxic, I was still, still so caught up on the wrong, you know, putting my focus and power in the wrong things and not using that to transmute that to empower me, so it's like every day. I go through those different things and you're healing from it. There'll be different days that I've, I've got mad. I'll be angry with the world. I'm ready to fight God, universe, and be like, F you, you know, or really just want to get back at people that want to hurt me. But it's just, it's just like, you no, know, everything is having a balance to it. And you, you just have to be on the right side of the road, you know. But allow, even when you're going down a one-way street, you still look both ways because some people come at you from the opposite way you've never seen coming. Situations will come at you, you know, and hit you in ways you never seen coming. But these are exact situations that it's like I had to go through this pillet, pill, um, healing, uh, what is it? You know, um, hearing period, healing period of grief, of accepting because it's showing you I'm not the person I used to be anymore. You've got to accept yourself on that. Um, I have to accept, you know, that part of me can no longer exist into the new part of me. I had to be able to let that old go to manifest in the good. Uh, being able to allow myself to know, you know, send love and light towards anybody that was sent to destroy you. But, you know, forget that person, but also keep from a distance. There, You know, there's a lot of people you have to love from a distance. And, you, you know, these things are making you a better person. You know, looking at yourself, you know, being a people pleaser. You know, letting, allowing people's contradictions about how they feel about myself. I embodied that. I, I worried about what other people thought of me. I did any and everything to prove this to this person when they didn't see my worth. They didn't care. You know, all these different things that went on where I allowed myself to believe in me. You know, even when love is not surrounding me, it allowed me to love myself. You know, be strengthening within my boundaries and not, you know, let myself be caught off guard. Uh, not taking things personal. You know, I work through those different things every day, even though I have to be able to allow myself to be basing myself on God's understanding, not my own. You know, being able to trust that process, and even though I've got to sit up here and deal with patience, you know, those are the different things that can be so irritating and so, you know, bothersome, especially when you're going through different things. It's just, it's really about to make me go into the old me, you know, but these are the different things that you, you that's exactly what it was sending towards your way. To really challenge you these are the different things it's like where your faith is being played heavy on because god is like you see all these different things that's going on you see what this person's doing you see what this person attempted doing it's like yeah i seen that i actually manifest that to be there yeah but i want you to what you're going to believe in what these things is trying to keep you from what is distracting you from distorting your mind or visions for different things or are you going to allow yourself to stay with me and believe in what i promised you you know knowing i always have your back you're heavily protected you know, because I put you in a situation like this where people going to really look at their own lives and say, you know, if that person don't went through this, there's nothing I won't be able to go through. Because you went through a lot of different things that could have been like, how did you make it through that? Are you okay? Are you loved? You know, it's just like, you know, or you look at different people like that. Did somebody take your, your toys away as a child? You know, did they discourage you? You know, different things like that. And you're seeing that. You know, and you're really seeing that because it's just like, you know, God has given you a voice to be able to share your story to experience with, you know. You, there's a lot of people that may be stumbling and um, having a hard time to be able to overcome something you you clearly did. And you're allowing them to know it's not easy on an easy road to change. It's not easy to forgive. 
it's not easy to move on or want to take people with us on certain journeys that is not needing to be on that journey. Being able to trust ourselves as well as the process that we're going through. And that's the biggest thing in the world, especially when you keep going through very uncomfortable situations or it just feels like that is never going to come to an end. And this is really pushing you towards that. You know, it's really pushing, pushing you towards that for you to have a deeper understanding this had to take place and empowered me in every kind of way possible. You know, God is helping me see, you know, God, ancestors, loved ones that passed on. They want me to be able to see what I, I wasn't able to see before. They want me to be able to stand in that confidence and potential like they knew I had. And this is that. Because it's just like a lot of times when we go through things, you have to remind yourself. If God didn't know I could be able to achieve that, why would he pick me? You know, a lot of times you're going through different things. You're really trying to understand, you know, I, I don't have the energy for this. I don't have the strength for this. You know, and he's giving you that energy. It's sending you that love. Even when things get brutal and even though things get hard, you know, this is beneficial towards you. And it, you, you have to be a very brave soul to allow yourself to smile in front of that pain that has been placed on you, but also appreciate it at the same time. That takes a real G to be able to do stuff like that. It really does. But as, as you move along and you learn from these life, life lessons, you're being very selective about the, the decisions you have. You're being able to see things from an outer, you know, from a higher prospect or bigger picture. And, you know, you're taking notice on different things around you. You know, there'll be a lot of things that I see around me. And I'm like, uh. And just allow myself to not even speak on it. It's like, just because I don't speak on it, don't think I'm not aware. You know, it's just, it's like mental no, okay, got it, what you want to focus, I'm focusing on me, <laughs> I'm focusing on me, you know, and just allow myself to have the better benefit of this different, different situation. So a lot of times we have to take that time out in our lives to be able to see it, you know, am I seeing that this is beneficial towards me? And a lot of times you go through these hard situations and it's hard for you to be able to see the good out of all that bad that's going on in your life, you know, being able to understand that. You know, and understand what's going on and taking place into your life. Because these are the different things that's really helping you grow. It really is. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I'd love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Drea Carl Fouquet as well as Rosie Rosa. Much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. Um, it's all about spiritual networking. You may be going through different paths to your purpose, trying to understand it. You know, letting you, you know, people let me know the things they're going through, what they currently face, what they're having issues with. You know, trying to ask for guidance or insight on what's happening. I love to be able to do that with everybody. You know, when we be able to talk about it and converse about it, it's all confidential. You know, be able to help where I can. Um, check out my community pages. Like, I give funny memes, you know, uh, different transitions uh, that's going on in life that you may not be aware of or any kind of positive uh, posts that's taking place as well. Um, just to be able to give you that encouragement of what's going on. Um, it can be very beneficial with you as well as my podcast that's on there. So, you know, you'd be able to get, you know, all the different walks of reality that I place on, on my, my channel. Um, and if you feel uh, generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well. Um, and whatever vibrations that you're needing to manifest, whatever you're trying to work hard for, I'm giving it all to you. Consistency, uh, bravery, balance, calmness, you know, reassurance, you know, uh, uh, what is it? Determination as well as motivation. I'm sending all that towards your way a million times fold. You know, devil and uh, enemies see the light. They see your potential. They want to do everything to doubt that. They want to be able to make you give up today because a blessing of doors may pop open tomorrow. So you stay woke. Never sleep on yourself. So uh, even through social distance, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, birds, wise frequencies. That can really take somebody a long way. And just because you did it with no intention at all. It's going to take you even further. So much love to you. Peace. Shalom. I say much love.